In nominee part of this spiritual sanctum, a shock video episode 6. I'm Eggsy. And I'm Reese. This is the best day of your life. This week, we're gonna check out a shit zombie. I'm looking at a Japanese film. And we're gonna see some sort of bloke with some metal on his face killing a load of Americans. The other film is from America, the Midwest. It involves worms. They came from everywhere. Yes! 1986 was a year to remember. Not only did some Argentinian bloke upset a load of English people in Mexico, a giant spaceship exploded in America, and the machine gun was invented. I made that bit up. But one thing that did come out of 1986 was a fantastic film called Spookies. Your mother's a proper slag. Holy shit. I first saw this film in 1986 at my mate Daniel Jones' house and it blew my tits off for many reasons. I'm not going to tell you the ultimate reason just yet, but I'll give you a quick rundown of what happens in the story. Pretty much, it starts like this. A little kid called Billy is found hanging out in the woods because he's had a crap birthday party. Oh, I didn't get a Millennium Falcon for my birthday, so I'm gonna run away from home. Yeah, well, you're gonna get your comeuppance, you dick, because Billy finds a giant mansion house which he gets into and finds a wonderful room full of lovely birthday decorations and a wonderful cake. Oh, they set up a surprise birthday for me. This is great. Mom? Dad? Are you out there? No, Billy, they haven't set up a surprise birthday for you. In fact, what's really happened is a weird blue man who looks like a cross between a cat and something out of that film Avatar is going to chase you round for a bit and then bury you alive and kill you because you're a bummer. That's still not the reason why I like this film, though. Later on in it, a load of people turn up and think, this looks like a good house for a party. Let's go in and smash it up. As far as I'm concerned, if you're breaking into someone else's property, you deserve to die, and they die. Don't go in there. Why not? Because you don't just go barging uninvited into people's houses. But again, that's not the reason why I like this film. Shall I tell you the reason why I like this film? It's because of shit zombies. Yes, I don't mean zombies that are shit and can't walk very well, or zombies that have got crap makeup, or zombies who aren't very good actors. I mean shit zombies. Zombies made out of shit. <laughs> Holy shit! Okay, so this is Spookies. That's weird. That's little no. Billy. He's about to have a shit birthday. Here's the reason why. Happy birthday, Billy. He's just been given a paedophile's head in a box. Um, as for the rest of this film, the trailer is rubbish. Uh, normally you get an idea of what's going on with a film. So far, just some pieces of rubber with some lights behind them. Oh, there's the name of the film. So, yeah, we've got a good idea. It's called Spookies. Remarkably, like the Goonies logo, that? Anyone else notice that? No. No. Shit house, anyway. Um, okay, so some more rubber monsters. Oh, a woman having an orgasm. That's interesting. No idea what that was. Um, Mama. Mama. Now, when I was a kid, I thought that was a bloke from Cannon and Ball. Uh, in fact, it's a giant rubber baby that tries to rape a woman, but again, I didn't make the film. I mean, I just I just watched it, you know. And, and this is the reason why I did watch it. Zombies made out of shit. Listen to this. Look at that. Zombies made out of shit. Honestly, you, you don't see that in 28 Days Later, do you? I've still got no fucking idea what's going on there. Now one of the zombies is having a lie down. Um, so, f Christ, I really have no idea what's going on. Um, it wasn't like this when I was 11. Uh, in fact, is it possible I was on drugs when I was 11? Because this is probably the most... It's just shit, sorry. Sorry. 
First up, it's Squirm. Eggsy had the book for this when he was a kid. He says it was an erotic thriller. It's kind of a horror film. It's not very good. It involves worms. If you're scared of worms, you're a weirdo. Hey! So the basic premise of the film Squirm is that there's been an electric lightning storm and it's made the worms go nuts and want to eat people. Kind of scary, but not actually scary. There was a scene uh, in the shower where a woman took a top off, but they edited it out, so you don't get to see that. Um, a guy called Roger has worms coming out of his face. <laughs> Pretty shit to be fair. Worth a watch if you've got nothing else to do and maybe your missus says something like, let's watch the king's speech. You know what I mean? Watch squirm. Look at this now, this is it. It was a violent summer storm. Bang! Crash! Crash bang wallop! Smash! Bang! Yes! Millions of volts slashed the earth. That was the worst storm we've had. Since I was knee-high to... High-quality acting. Folks talked about it and started getting things back to normal. Back to normal. When Mick hit town for his vacation. Well, it's straight ahead about five miles. Mick's a bell end. But things weren't normal. There were changes. Ah! Ah! Ooh, mother bit me. I never saw him by Hey there, boy. Strange. Frightful. Look at it. That's the shower scene night, there. It all started. Stop doing that. I'm not doing it. Dirty. <laughs> They came from everywhere. Worms. Millions of writhing, seething creatures oozing out of the mire to feed on human flesh. Might get a Chinese tonight. Chow mein, perhaps. <laughs> curry sauce. Slow boat, Newport, really good curry sauce. Worth checking out. You sweat, but you don't dare move. Stop moving! Crash! It grips every nerve in your body. You want to scream, but you can't. Ah! I can scream. Your heart beats so fast, it feels like it's going to burst. Ah! A cupboard full of worms. Amazing. Look at that. Smashing himself in the dick. No! Too late! They're dead! Ah! Squirm. A new experience in pure fright. It's shit. And then just mentioned to him, what was that? Oh, shit. Shit. Next up, Future Kill. This film was made in 1985, and it's probably the worst film I've ever seen in my life. Apparently, in the 80s, if you watch films like this, you turned into a rapist. Well, I watched it twice, and I didn't even get a stiffy. Although, there are actually two pairs of tits in it. Basically, it's a bloke with a... Holy shit. What's up? Okay, this is What's Up. I've taken the world's crappiest film and I've tried to condense it into as short a space as possible. This is how it starts. Couple of frat parties, some dude chug, 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 drinking from a keg. Naked bird, that's not bad. Um, starts to get a bit boring, so let's just cut straight to the violence. Right, this is where it gets really good. Imagine this, a bloke, well, don't even imagine it, just look at it. A bloke who's put some pieces of dustbin over his own body, who seems to be walking the streets whilst killing people who wear chinos and funny t-shirts that make them look like Australian criminals. Yeah, it's really, really weird, and it gets weirder. Essentially, this bloke just walks around the streets for a while because he doesn't seem to like anyone who wears chinos, and he kills them. This is one of the great ways he kills one of the dudes. He's got three magical spikes that come out at the end of his hand and boom, straight up into their throat. Here we go. Yes! Let the blood dribble out the side of his mouth like he actually really is dead which is probably what you want to be after you've just watched this film for an hour and a half. Like I said, it goes on for ages and not much really happens, so I've tried to condense it into as small a space as possible. Um, one of the great reasons to watch this film, though, is the outfits. Um, I tried to make an outfit like this shortly after watching it. It didn't work, and um, I got in a lot of trouble with the council. Anyway, um, here's one of the highlights of the film. I call this a romantic part, if you like. Um, meets a young lady in a nightclub. Ooh, she's got nice hair. Ooh, fancy a kiss and a cuddle. No, but I'll tell you what I do fancy is smashing you up and then kicking you in because I've got bits of dustbin stuck on my face. What does he do next? This bloke really is proper bonkers. Not only does he kick the woman in, 
but then he wraps her in a load of corrugated iron because he's a dickhead. Right, I've had enough of this film anyway. Stop the tape. Just stop, stop the bloody tape. Stop it now. Stop it. Stop the, stop the tape now. Next up, Entrails of a Beautiful Woman. This is part of a load of films. They're Japanese. I think they're from the 70s. They look like it anyway. This film is amazing. I watched the whole of this film, didn't really know what was going on. To be honest with you, it's a bit rapey. Um, but don't let that put you off, it's a good film. There's a part in the film where a woman has a head forced between another woman's legs and as she comes up and she's got pubes stuck on her face. <laughs> Very amusing. Also, there's another woman, it might be the same woman, I couldn't really work it out to be honest with you, I kind of watched it on fast forward. Uh, she's having sex with a man, she kills him and then she finishes herself off on the dead body. Brilliant. The climax, the climax of the film is incredible, right? What happens is, a man and a woman somehow become symbiotically entwined and then lose all their skin and grow a giant phallus. <laughs> then the man presents his giant phallus to a woman, it's got no skin, the woman kisses it and then he, uh, it bursts through her skin and kills her. Then at the end, there's some sort of like um, special effects. <laughs> and it finishes. Don't know what it's about. If you can get hold of it, watch it. It's called Entrails of a Beautiful Woman. It's well 80s. It could even be the 70s. I don't know what that means. It's kind of a couple of squiggly lines going through some sort of fantasy reality world. Here we go. Eyes. This film is for people who basically it's, a, it's kind of a, a bit of light porn. I, when I watched this, I just forward winded through to the porno bits. Um, didn't really watch much of the story. It's for people who like porn and horror. Look at that. Or for people who like horror and porn. One or the other. Look at that. Putting an antihistamine in some beer. And uh, look at that. That's it. That's the phallus. Imagine that coming at you. Amazing film, absolutely amazing. The Japanese people, they are nuts. Watch that film. Look at that! Amazing! Yes! Man's head blown off. Next week, hopefully we're going to be in a slightly more uh, exotic uh, location than this. I'm a little bit scared. I have heard noises and they didn't come from my bottom. Can we get out of here? Yeah, fucking let's go. Seriously, let's, let's fucking go. Oh, shit! Shit! Turn the lights off! Shit! You've been watching Sean's video episode 6. I'm about to exercise some evil fucking demons. In nomine Padre and Spiritual Sanctum. 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 Ah! 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 